This is going to be the first of our videos looking at fractions. Now, we're going to first of all look at how to convert from mixed numbers to top heavy fractions and also how to convert top heavy fractions into mixed numbers. Now, first of all, what is a top heavy fraction? Well, a top heavy fraction is just a fraction which has a numerator which is greater than its denominator. So it's top heavy. Something like 5 over 4, 10 over 3, 8 over 7, and so on. Okay, that's what we call top heavy fractions. A mixed number is where you have uh, a whole number and a fraction uh, together. So something like two and a half, that's a mixed number. There's a whole number part and a fraction part to it. Okay, so two and a half, three and a quarter, five and seven ninths, and so on. These are all examples of what we call mixed numbers. Okay, now we're going to look first of all at how to convert a top heavy fraction into a mixed number. Whenever you're finishing off uh, a question, you don't want to leave your answer as a top heavy fraction. It's just not the done thing. So what we're going to do just now is what you will need to do if you end up with a top heavy fraction as your answer for a particular question. So you all should know that a fraction is just the top number divided by the bottom. So 5 over 3 just means 5 divided by 3. And that's something you need to know and you need to remember. And if you think of a fraction as the top number divided by the bottom, then converting from a top heavy fraction to a mixed number becomes easy. So you just think of that as 5 divided by 3. How many times does 3 go into 5? 3 goes into 5 once, remainder 2. So it goes in one whole time plus this remainder, plus this extra bit, okay? Now what we do is we take our answer and we write it as a mixed number. And our answer is just simply one whole plus a fraction. Now the remainder two is just two parts. And the denominator we're gonna write is gonna be the same as the one we started with. So it's one and two thirds. And that's all you do, okay? So if we look at our second example, if we call this A, let's look at um, 10 over 3. You just think of that as 10 divided by 3. How many times does 3 go into 10? 3 goes into 10 3 times, remainder 1. Again, look at this. We write it as a mixed number. It's 3 and a bit. Your bit is going to be your fraction. The numerator is your remainder. And the denominator is going to be the denominator you had. So 3 and a third. Okay. Let's look at another one. Let's do 15 over 4. That's just the same as 15 divided by 4. 4 into 15 goes how many times? 4 threes are 12, so it goes in 3 times. Remainder 3. So we take our answer. Think of it as a 3 and a bit. So your whole number is going to be 3. The bit is going to be written as a fraction. The numerator is your remainder. Your denominator is what you started out with. So you've got a denominator of 4. 3 and 3 quarters. And that's all there is to it. So it's dead easy. Just remember a fraction is the top number divided by the bottom. Okay. So we'll put up three questions for yourselves. Then you can pause the video and see how you get on. So if we say question D, let's go for 17 over 5. Let's go for um, 23 over 7. And let's go for uh, 34 over 5. Okay, so pause the video, do these three yourselves, and see how you get on. Now, 17 over 5 just means 17 divided by 5. 5 goes into 17 three times, remainder 2. You just take your answer of 3 or remainder 2 and write that as 3 and a bit. Your remainder is a bit. The numerator is just the remainder. The denominator is what you started out with. 5, 5. Okay, here's your answer. 23 over 7 just means 23 divided by 7. How many times does 7 go into 23? It goes in 3 times. Remainder, 
Okay. So your answer again is going to be 3 and a bit. This time our bit will have a numerator of 2, because your remainder was 2. And we'll have a denominator of 7, because we initially started out with a fraction, which had a denominator of 7. And finally, 34 over 5 just means 34 divided by 5. 5 goes into 34 6 times, remainder 4. Okay, and uh, that gives us an answer of 6 and a bit. And we end up with our numerator being 4, because that was the remainder. And our denominator is 5, because that is what we started with. So your answer is 6 and 4 fifths. Okay, and that's how you convert from a top-heavy fraction to a mixed number. Okay, now we're going to now look at how to convert from a mixed number into a top-heavy fraction. And you might think, well, why would I do that if the done thing is to leave your answer as a mixed number, if possible? Well, there's lots of reasons why you would do it, and there's lots of instances where you would do it. Before you can add or subtract or multiply or divide mixed numbers, you've got to convert them into top-heavy fractions. So this is a skill that's going to allow you to do lots of different types of questions involving um, fractions. Okay. Let's look at um, something like 2 and uh, a quarter. Okay. Your goal is to write that as something over something else. Okay. You want to write it as a top-heavy fraction fraction. Okay. Now, two and a quarter is just two holes plus a quarter. Okay. So, a hole is just four quarters. So, you're looking to get an answer of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine quarters. Okay. That's what your answer is going to be. But how do you get that? Where does the, qu the four come from in your denominator? Well, that's easy enough. The denominator just mirrors what you had within the fraction. But where does the 9 come from? And if you remember, this can be got just by doing, taking your whole number, 2, multiplying it by 4, because that gives us what we've got here, and any extra bits you get by adding the numerator. So 2 times 4 gives you 8, plus 1 gives you the 9. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take our mixed uh, number. We're going to take the whole number part of it, and we're going to use the numerator and the denominator to come up with our answer. Okay, so we go back to where we were when we started, and we just say, well, our answer will have a denominator of 4, and the numerator will be 2 times 4, which is 8, plus 1, which is 9. That's all you do. So do 2 times 4, and then add the 1. Okay, and you get the numerator, and that's you. All right. Let's do another couple. Let's do 3 and 3 fifths. Let's do 7 and uh, 2 sevenths. Okay. So we'll, do, we'll do 7 and 2 ninths, just so that we have different, different numbers. Right. So this one, our denominator is going to be 5. And while we're at it, for question C, the denominator will be 9. How do we get the numerator? Well, we do 3 times 5, which is 15, and then add 3, which gives us 18. And that's you done. For this one, 7 times 9, 63. Add the 2, 65. And that's us done. So that's all there is to it. That's how you convert from a mixed number to a top-heavy fraction. So again, here's a few questions for you to do yourselves. And you can pause the video and you can uh, have a bash and see how you get on. Okay, so we'll do 2 and 7 eighths. We'll do 4 and 3 uh, sevenths. And we'll do 2 and 3 fifths. Okay, so pause the video and see how you get on. So we might as well do the denominators all in one go because they are dead easy to come up with. A denominator here is 8, so in our answer we'll have a denominator of 8. Here we have a denominator of 7, so here we'll have a denominator of 7. 5 here, 5 there. And now all we have to do is get the numerator, so 2 times 8, 16, add the 7, 23. For this one, 
4 times 7, 28. Add the 3, 31. And for this one, 2 fives are 10. Add the 3, 13. And that's how you convert from mixed numbers to top heavy fractions. So just follow that pattern and you'll always get the correct answer. And remember, this is a skill you will need to use very often when you're having to multiply mixed numbers, divide mixed numbers, uh, subtract mixed numbers, and so on. So that is our first video dealing with fractions, and we will go on to use this skill in future videos as well. So I hope that was helpful.